Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Fairies and Fancies, also known as Nicole, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get this really cool looking patina effect that you can put on pretty much anything you can paint. I learned this technique from Van Oak's Props, and we're gonna be changing it up and kind of adding to it a bit. Now this is with their tutorial, but we're gonna add some spice. Here's some nice B-roll for you where I just start grabbing brushes. Why? Who knows? Do I use any of these brushes? I hope. I'm using these paints from Jacquard, Jacquard, Jacquard? I don't know how to say it. Folk art, you're gonna wanna get the patina color. It's multi-surface, so you can use indoor, outdoor. Then you're gonna wanna use your spray bottle. You're gonna wanna do a three to one water to paint ratio. I also got that from Van Oak's props tutorial. So you're gonna wanna do one part paint and you're gonna see me just awkwardly try to get into this spray bottle. Enjoy. Adding the water that I spilled on myself right before this. Shake it up. Now, before you get to spray that cool patina, you're gonna wanna paint whatever you wanna patina black. Paint it all black. Get into all the little crevices. This statue was a gift from my friend KP Creations. Shout out to her. And I've had it for a year just waiting to be painted. And I love how it came out. So just get in all the little spaces. You don't have to be super neat. Just kind of go for it and have fun. This is a patina effect, so we do not want it to be perfect. Texture is great. Here you can see all the little cool figures on this, this little demon guy. He's got big old feet too. Cat Goblin! Look at this little weirdo. I think he's my favorite. I'm talking really get in there. Just all up in there. The fact that I can get anything done ever with this baby is a miracle. She wants love 24 seven and nothing else and to play. All right, so here you're gonna see me setting up this whole trash bag system. Uh, do yourself a favor and just do this outside. Set up the, the protection and all that, but do it outside because you're gonna shortly see that I paint more than just the sculpture. Here I realize, yeah, that's paint in there. Good job, Nicole. You just wanna spray that patina all over the sculpture and gravity will kind of pull all of that awesome patina into all the nooks and crannies and make it look really real. So I guess just spray till your heart says it's good. Don't spray your entire craft room like I did. I am still cleaning that paint up to this day. Now, since I have the patience of a toddler, I got out my hair dryer and just dried it. You could add more layers of patina if you want. I wanted to add some extra into the nooks and crannies, so I used my paintbrush. And you can already see how cool this is looking. You want to look up references. As KP Creation says, references people references. Here are my three paints. We've got a metallic brown, metallic copper, and gold. Start with that brown and you just want to use the dry brush method and do it over your whole sculpture. Now remember you're going to add two other paint colors so don't go too crazy. You still want to see some of that patina through. If you don't know what dry brushing is, Hit up Google because I forgot to uh, show that part. And 
and here you just want to highlight the raised areas but kind of leave the patina that's in all those deep cracks alone and like I said just have fun with it you don't want it to look perfect It would be cool if I could like stay in frame, but this is what we got. Hopefully I'll get better with time. It's so satisfying to watch, isn't it? At least I'm in the middle of the frame. Right, and next we are gonna go in with that copper nope we're still on brown nailed it still painting brown now we're at the copper you see that that's where it starts looking special you hit those raised areas just let your heart tell you where to put it doesn't need to be perfect. Back to the cat call. And here's the gold. It's very subtle, but I feel like it adds a lot in the end. Use this sparingly. those raised areas but leave that patina with this it's kind of fun because it's kind of like the messier the better you can see all the cool faces coming out of the sculpture now I'm being a little extra and I'm adding in a little bit of a darker teal just because I cannot leave anything alone ever you don't have to do this but if your heart says so, go for it. All right, I'm using this Krylon matte finish. It's an acrylic spray, and I'm just going to town. Make sure you use your respirator, be safe, and just give it a nice coat. It'll protect that finish. And here it is. I love how it came out, highlighted all that detail. I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you can use it. Thanks for watching.